I'll be feeling deep heaviness, I know that. Well, I know it's going to be emotional. Like many first-time visitors who come to the 9-11 Memorial, Lisa and Ron Sloan had high expectations for an experience that would move them to tears and help them heal. I brought tissue. It's almost like closure, but yet it's opening another door of emotion. The 9-11 Memorial opened officially last year, exactly 10 years after 2,977 people from more than 90 nations were killed in the terror attacks. As the centerpiece, it features twin reflecting pools that are each nearly an acre in size and contain the largest man-made waterfalls in North America. Architect Michael Arad says while there is no right way or wrong way to experience the memorial, he feels humbled by the wide range of reactions. It's really about allowing people to have that quiet moment of introspection, of gathering their thoughts, of considering what happened here and their place in the world in relation to that. Electronic kiosks allow visitors to learn more about the victims or to find out where a name is placed around the reflecting pools. Names of the victims are not listed alphabetically. Instead, they are grouped by association, taking into account more than 1,200 requests made by family members to have certain names placed next to each other. Some of these stories are incredibly heartbreaking. Uh, one request that we got was from a young woman who lost her father, who was on flight 11, and lost her best friend from college, who was working at the North Tower. And their names are side by side, and it's meaningful to that family that we've done that. Visitors may also not realize that the first row of trees around the north and south memorial pools marks the exact spot where the steel columns once stood that framed the towers. Another tree of note is the survivor tree. After the attacks, workers found the tree damaged and reduced to an eight-foot-tall stump. It was eventually nursed back to health and now stands just west of the south pool, where organizers say it embodies the spirit of survival and resilience that are so important to the history of 9-11. It was a very difficult project to be involved in at times. It demanded a lot of you, and I think having the ability to sort of go home every day and go into a completely other world made it possible for me to, to do my work here.